all staying healthy and safe. Thank you all so very much for supporting my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, if this video helps you, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Today, I'll be discussing about how to create portfolio using Excel. In order for you to create portfolio in Excel, you'll either need Office 365 or Excel Online. So currently, here I'm using uh, Excel Online. So let's get started. I'll start with a company name. I'll go ahead and choose a company. Let's go ahead and choose a tech company, um, Apple, and then another one, Microsoft. I'll go ahead and choose two banks too, Bank of America, and how about Wells Fargo and two automotives. So I'll go ahead and choose Ford Motor and then Tesla. So I have a total of four or six different companies here. And so these are just in text format right now. So what Office 365 and Excel Online uh, have is data type that is talks and geography so if I click on this stocks data type, the text is converted to a data type here with this symbol. So similarly, I'll go ahead and change all of the text to stocks data types. Now you can see instead of these symbols here, for Ford and Tesla, I have question mark which is asking me to select what type of uh, stock mm -hmm. market you want to choose. I'll go ahead and choose NYSE, New York Stock Exchange. Similarly for Tesla, I'll go ahead and choose NASDAQ, both based in United States. So now what I'd like to do is there are ticker symbols here too. If you want to add ticker symbols, you can also add a ticker symbol option over here. If you um, want to add different types of other datas, what you can do is click on the cell. And this little box here is, if you hover over it, it says insert data, extract data to a cell. So this will give you several different data types, headquarters, exchange, total number of employees, etc etc so what I like to do is let me go ahead and scroll down volume previous close I'll go ahead and do click on price so this will be my price similarly I'll go ahead and select price for all of the remaining ones so these are the values and um, current values of uh, shares for these companies. And what I like to do is I like to uh, put in what cost I bought these shares at. So for example, I bought these Apple at 120, uh, Microsoft at let's say 210. Bank of America at 23, Wells Fargo 30, Ford $5, and Tesla, let's say I bought it at 1,000. Okay, I'll go ahead and change these to dollar symbols. There we go. And also now I like to add number of shares that I currently have. Uh, for example, I have, let's say, 10 of Apple, uh, 20 of Microsoft, Bank of America, let's say, 40, and Wells Fargo, let's say, 40 as well, Ford Motor, 
hundred. Tesla, let's say I have five. Now, what I like to do is total current values of uh, each company uh, that I have. So, equals, I will click on B3, multiplied by total number of shares, or equals. Uh, E3 multiplied by total number of shares, hit enter, and then autofill these by clicking at the right bottom corner. So these are the values of um, each company that I have. Now um, let me add total cost equals c3 multiplied by number of shares hit enter and then autofill these so these are the total costs that i paid to buy these number of shares now i'll go ahead and click eek or uh, i'll go ahead and type in profit equals value minus total cost hit enter autofill these uh, almost all of these are positive except for Tesla um, now what I'd like to do is let me do some Mason or some of these over here hit enter so I am currently in positive 1340.30 let me go ahead and put this in a table insert table okay so if you put it in a table it's very easy you to uh, kind of filter and sorts for example I just want to check my tech stocks Apple Microsoft equals you can it's very easy for you to uh, sort and filter so I usually use table all the time um, so this is how you can create your portfolio using Excel um, hope this video helps you all if this video helps you, please give it a thumbs up and also please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you all so very much. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.